Hi, it's Lara. Welcome to my channel. This video is a minimalist first aid kit that I bring every time I travel both internationally and locally. So stay tuned to see what I put in it. I feel like I should start out by saying this is not medical advice and you should consult your doctor for everything. If you have a specific regimen you follow, you should of course continue following that. This is just for minor inconveniences and discomforts that happen when you're traveling such as stomach aches and little cuts and minor pains. So take it as it is and apply it to your own life and that's pretty much my advice for everything I say. This first aid kit is loosely based on the CDC's guidelines. They have a check list for packing for a healthy international trip and so I kind of looked at that checklist and made my first aid kit based on that. Okay so here is that CDC checklist so they say use this checklist to prepare for your next trip abroad and not all of these items may be relevant to you in your travel plans so that is good advice for everything you know apply it to your own life. So prescription medicines, this is going to be very personal, but also some things you might need to get extra prescribed from a doctor if you're going to certain places. And then medical supplies, again, very personal, so just bring what you need. Um, Over-the-counter medicines, so this is what I'm going to go over. This is a lot of what my first aid kit has in it, so I'll go over that later in the video supplies to prevent illness or injury a lot of this stuff i'm already gonna have in my toiletries kit such as the hand sanitizer sunscreen so i don't put extras in my first aid kit and then first aid kit this is again a lot of the stuff that i'll be going over later in the video and then documents i think this is a really good point that they bring up to bring copies of your documents like your passport and if you have any prescriptions or health insurance to bring physical copies of those with you and then also i think it's good to look up some hospitals and clinics in the area that you're at just in case you ever need them so one of my favorite things to do for over-the-counter medicine is to buy these little pill pouch bags and then you can distribute the medication into these little pouches and it allows it to be much more compact and it is much cheaper than buying the travel size version and it's much smaller than bringing the whole bottle of medication. This was about $4 for a 50 pack and so that's a really good deal. And as you can see with the antacid that are pretty big chewables, I still fit about 20 in here and so you can fit a decent amount of medication in here. And really if you did feel like you needed more antacid or whatever than this, you can just make multiple bags of these. Okay, so here we have our over-the-counter meds, some acetaminophen, ibuprofen, diphenhydramine, and cold flu and throat in case you get sick on your trip, a laxative, and antacid, and as well as this digestive relief. So I've gone ahead and labeled these with the medication, the strength, and then the dosage. So the digestive relief, it's basically Pepto-Bismol, the store brand generic version um, and then you'll take two every half hour as needed maximum of 16 per 24 hours and then I always put the expiration date on that is something I'm gonna write directly on to the bag and then I can get a new bag when I get new medications and change out the bag but I didn't write it on the paper because that way I can just reuse the paper and put it into the new bag. Okay, and next on the checklist is the supplies to prevent illness and injury. Something else I do bring is the oral hydration salts. These are super useful in case you get sick on your trip. When we were in Thailand, we got really sick food poisoning vomiting for a few days. I was young at the time and didn't think to use these, but now that I'm older, I just 
do not go anywhere without them because they are super useful. Um, we have a couple different kinds. This one is not sweet. It's very salty and kind of hard to drink, but it gets the job done. And this is more of a good tasting, sweeter, something that you could drink every day. Um, and so if you are going to go somewhere warm where you know that you're going to want these electrolytes, then you could bring more of these and drink it every day. But really for my travel first aid kit I just keep one of each in it and if I do end up getting sick on my trip I'm probably gonna go to a mini mart or a store and find some electrolyte drinks to keep myself hydrated and so these are gonna be for emergency use and like for the first day and then if I do need more then I'll just go buy more when I'm there because I really just want to keep this first aid kit small and minimalist and not pack it full of these things that I may or may not need but if I'm gonna go somewhere that's warm and that I want more of these, I will just pack them in my toiletries bag or just in a small pouch in my backpack. And then the other thing I bring is these ginger honey crystals. This is so good if you have a stomach ache or if you feel sick at all. I at least pack one of these in my first aid kit. And then again, I'm probably gonna put a few more in my toiletries bag just in case because stomach aches happen especially when you're traveling and if you're female it is always good to have some tampons and pads on hand I keep a couple of these in my first aid kit just in case and so I really like this super small one without the applicator because it's super compact and I just like it to be minimalist but there's also these ones with the applicator and so if I know I'm gonna be on my period during my trip I'm just gonna bring a whole pack of tampons but this is just for emergency use and then if I do start my period on my trip unknowingly then I can go to the store and buy more but this will at least get me through until I can get more. And then for little cuts and scrapes, we have the trio of the alcohol prep pad, antibiotic ointment, and band-aids. And so I bring a lot of each because little cuts happen and this antibiotic ointment is really great. It's 0.5 ounces and so it's really small and it doesn't expire for about two and a half years so it can just stay in my first aid kit. And then I also have the hydrocortisone cream in my first aid kit for bug bites and little rashes on your skin. So this is super useful, one ounce. So this will get through security. So the thing about this first aid kit is that it is small, it's meant to be small, it's meant to be minimalist and you know if something does happen on your trip where you need to stock up on these supplies you can get more but this will at least hold you over until you can get more this first aid kit is really just meant to help with the minor annoyances and discomforts that come with traveling and also if you have your own medication too of course bring that and it's probably good to bring it in its original container if it is a prescription because that way you have all of your information on it that you need so there's a few things I'll link below, like the CDC checklist, the oral rehydration salts, and the ginger honey crystals. Those things are just super useful, and I really do bring them every time I go. So thanks for watching this video. I hope it was helpful for you to create your own minimalist first aid kit. And it's currently Monday, January 30th. Our baby is due in four days. Of course, he's not here yet, so I'm just trying to get a few videos out before he comes. My next video is going to be on how to get a passport for a newborn, so subscribe to be notified when that comes out. And until next time, stay adventurous.